Hello students, my name is Dr. Salahuddin, working as associate professor in Noida Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pharmacy Institute, Greater Noida. Today, I will discuss the some important techniques that is the docking techniques used in the computer aided drug design. So, first thing docking, what is the docking and what is the concept of the docking? The concept of the pharmacophore first thing is it is developed by Paul Eldridge in the 80s and the first the pharmacophore is what at we are understanding that a certain chemical groups or the function in a molecule were responsible for the biological effects and the molecule with the same effects had similar function in common words. So, the word pharmacophore was coined much later by Schuller in 1960s. This chemo biodynamics and the drug design and was uh, uh, defined as a molecular framework that carries essential structure that is the pharmacophoric features required for the biological acting in the docking. Now, come to the docking. Here in the docking study, what we are doing? Docking is the identification of the low energy conformation identification of the low energy conformation after binding the ligand molecule. So, in the docking we are combining the ligand molecule with, with the target to find out the low energy conformation. Okay. So, here we require two things that is the ligand and and the target ligand and the target. So, the compounds that bind perfectly to the active site that the compounds that bind perfectly to the active site mean the com the ligand which interact with the target in a specific groove in a specific binding pockets. So, the, the that is when uh, when the ligands binds with the uh, with, with the uh, active pockets in the uh, in the perfect manner. So, that it is called the perfect binding with the active sites having minimum energy. So, when the molecule binds or the ligand binds with the target, it shows a different conformation. So, we have to identify the minimum energy conformation and this, this minimum energy conformation of the drug receptor complex that we can call it is a drug molecule. So, the process of a docking is a ligand to a binding site of a target when the ligands binds with the target it mimics the natural course of interaction of the ligands and its target so that there is an interaction between between the ligands and with the receptor via a lowest energy conformation. So, the last thing is the successful docking methods that we can apply when the interaction with the target, interaction with the target of the ligands occurs in a very good fashion. And it gives a very good score that is called scoring function. So, that we can correctly rank a, a molecule a different type of molecule. Suppose, we have a set of molecules a set of ligands uh, around 20, 30 or 50 uh, ligands. So, with the help 
of this uh, type of ligands that we can <coughs> identify the uh, identify the type of ligands with the help of the scoring function. So, the score is good that ultimately the ligand may be good. So, this is the example of the target and this is the ligands and the ligands interact with the target to form a complex in the form of molecular docking. So, we will study about the, the types of docking by combining with the target the ligand molecule. So, next is rigid docking. First thing is rigid docking and the flexible docking. In the rigid docking, it is basically uh, based on the lock and key hypothesis and the flexible docking that is based on the induced fit docking. So, there are two types of mainly two types of uh, uh, the rigid uh, two types of docking that is rigid docking where the ligand and the receptors ligand and the target both are rigid okay and both are treated as a rigid in the flexible docking based on this induced fit docking that here both the ligand and the target are flexible in nature. Sometimes there is a semi flexible docking. So, in the next a typical docking workflow diagram here as I have already told that there are two things is required that is the target and the ligand. target and the ligand. So, from where we can obtain this particular target? There are various types of databases that are available that we can obtain the target that is RCSB database. From that we can download the our required target. Now, next is ligand selection. So, the ligand selection first thing we have to identify the pharmacophoric features against this particular target and the compounds we have to check either this ligand is will be interact with this target or not. So, accordingly we can select our ligand. Similarly, the various types of online databases nowadays is available from where we can collect a data sets of the ligand. So, after collecting the target and collecting the ligands in the computer aided drug design or specifically in the docking study from where we are identifying the various types of interactions occurs in the with the ligand and the target. So, the next step is target preparation and the ligand preparation. So, what is this target preparation? So, when we are downloading the target the various types of hetero atoms present in it and there are in some cases the some ligand also present. So, that we have to remove the extra thing or sometimes we have to prepare the ligand. Suppose, our ligands have the different dif uh, our sorry our receptor have different types of different types of chains like chain A, chain B, chain C 
I mean our ligand binds with only chain A. So, that we have to remove the extra chain present in it. So, here the in the ligand preparation the various steps we have to follow for the preparation of the ligand. Now, in the in the ligand preparation also we have to follow the some important steps for the preparation of the ligand. And after the preparation of the target and the ligand we can perform the docking without the preparation we cannot perform the docking study. So, first we have to prepare the target and we have to prepare the target and then perform the docking. So, after what what is basically happening in this docking we have the target and we have the ligand. So, interaction of the target with the ligand to form of to form a complex. So, docking is a phenomenon to form a complex with the target and the ligand. So, after the formation of the ligand receptor complex, we have to <coughs> evaluate the complex formed by docking. So, not all the complex we have to evaluate. So, we have to evaluate in terms of the energy, we have to evaluate in terms of some different types of characteristics. So, after the evaluation we can say that this compound interact in the some specific manner. So, the ligands, ligands may be protein ligands interaction of the protein with the ligands. So, the docking in between protein protein and the docking in between protein nucleotide. So, as a medicinal chemist our main concern is the interaction of the protein with the ligand. So, the first one is required. So, the type of interactions occurs in the ligand uh, ligand receptor interaction. So, the interaction that is first thing is electrostatic forces, electrodynamic forces, steric forces, hydrogen bonding. So, collectively all the forces not only this electrostatic electrodynamic some forces are also some, uh, some types of interactions also involved in this, but here I am discussing the some important interactions. So, the in the electrostatic interactions that is the forces with the electrostatic origin. Electrodynamic most widely known is probably one the wonder wall interactions. Steric forces where the entropy is limited. There may be forces to minimize the free energy of the system that is very very uh, important steps and the hydrogen bonding. This is also very important hydrogen bond acceptor and hydrogen bond donor. So, we can calculate the properties in the theoretical manner also and after identifying all the forces also in a ligand as well as our targets we can perform the docking. So, these type of interactions appear after the docking when the ligand interacts with the with the receptor. So, there are some key stages in the docking. The first thing target receptor selection and the preparation. First, we have to choose the target. Suppose, I am uh, working the drug discovery on the cancer. So, we have to select the target against the cancer. Suppose, I am if I am uh, working on the CNS drug. So, that we have to 
choose the target against the central nervous system. Similarly, we have to collect the ligand also, ligand selection and preparation. So, in the ligand selection and preparation, we are we can select these type of ligands on the basis of the literature available previously and perform the docking. After the docking, we have to evaluate the result. After evaluating the result, we can say that this molecule is responsible for the particular type of biological activity. Otherwise, if uh, if we are not performing the evaluation, we cannot observe the result. So, these four steps are very, very important steps or necessary steps involved in the docking. That is target receptor selection and preparation, ligand selection and preparation, the docking and the evaluation. First thing, from where we can uh, uh, we can collect the target. So, in the docking, the receptor that we can download from the RCSB database. Okay, and when we are searching the the target or the receptor. We are we have to search the type of reset receptor in a search box and download the PDB file. Download the PDB file from this so that we can uh, download this target from this particular online database and what we can do after the downloading? We have to open here uh, there is a one uh, particular example that is the 5 j v y there is a crystal structure of S 1 to 1 murine Cox 2 and the classification that is oxido is and there is a uh, x ray diffraction this is more important that is the resolution of the of the target that is very very important that is 2.36 angstrom that is very good. So, when we are downloading the files <coughs> we can download in the FASTA sequence we can download in the PDB format and we can download the GZ format also. So, another format that uh, we can also download. So, our requirement we can download this PDB format this faster format it is a uh, uh, it is arrangement of protein structures in the form of letters. Now, here after downloading what we can do? We have to visualize this particular target. So, visualize with the help of software only. So, here we are using this discovery studio visualizer for the opening of this of the particular target whatever you have chosen the target. So, you first thing is you we have to open this particular target after opening that we can say a chain b chain c chain and d chain the four chain is present here a chain b chain c chain and d chain hetero atoms are also present the protein groups and the ligand groups are also present in it so <coughs> in the preparation of uh, preparation of the target we have to perform the some uh, specific steps that we can do now <coughs> after the selection of the target now we have to select the ligand select the ligand means what selection of the ligands that we can select the ligands or 
we can synthesize the ligands from the literature. Literature means what? Suppose, I am working on the particular moiety, so that the compounds derived against this particular moiety, we have to select only those similar type of the compounds. So, the every compounds shows the different type of interactions, every atoms or group have the different properties. So, due to the presence of the every atom or group, the compound shows the different type of the interaction. So, after the selection of the ligands, we can select the ligands on the basis of uh, the various online databases also. So, these are the, uh, the various databases, zinc database, we have pubchem that we can download the download our ligand, we have chembl, the various types of databases are nowadays is available. So, our or, or we can uh, uh, design or we can uh, draw the compounds by using the software also like chemdraw that we can download and uh, chem sketch that we can draw the structure of the ligand in the 2D form. So, when the structure present in the 2D form, we have to convert into the 3D. So, for the conversion of the 3D, then we can use the uh, another software that is open bubble that we can convert uh, the uh, one form of the structure into the other form. So, we can use these are for, uh, open source software we can download in our system and the perform our function. So, after uh, doing after the downloading of the ligands after the drawing of the ligand, we have to open this ligand in a discovery studio. So, after opening this discovery studio, select uh, the compounds in a in, in a 3D uh, view. So, after opening of the ligands, this the ligand shows here. Now, after uh, ligands we have to convert into the specific format of the file. I will discuss uh, next what are the different types of format required for, for the docking study. So, that we after opening here, we can observe the structure of the compound that the different type of color present in the ligands. Here the red color for the oxygen, the white color for hydrogen and here the this blue color this is for the nitrogen and the gray color represents the carbon atom. So, that we can check our ligands either our ligand is correct or not. So, these are the different uh, we have already prepared pre pre prepared for uh, prepared the ligand and the target. Now, after the preparation of the ligand and the target, what we can do? We can do the docking. So, for this docking that we can do by using the software that is the Autodoc. Autodoc is also a freely available software that we uh, can download the software by uh, with the help of internet and uh, then we can perform the docking study by preparation of the ligand and preparation of the target in the form of some specific file. There are some important steps we have to do to, uh, to prepare these type of files that is the preparation of the target in the form of PDB QT file. Pre <coughs> preparation of the ligand PDB QT file preparation of the grid parameter file that is GPF, preparation of the docking parameter file that is DPF. So, for the interaction of the ligands of the target, we require the four 
necessary file to uh, to the to perform the docking. Now, after the docking, we will uh, observe the complex. The complex formed by the uh, formed by the ligand and the target. So our aim is to find out the lowest energy conformation of the drug uh, ligand receptor complex. So, we can choose only the uh, lowest energy conformation. So, uh, where the binding energy will be minimum and this is the importance of the molecular docking that the importance that we can predict the binding affinity in the form of a scoring function and the identification of the ligand and the correct geometry or the correct pose we can identify with the help of binding mode. Thank you so much.